After completing the wilderness as a hardcore Iron Man, there was only one goal even more extreme. Completing the Grandmaster combat achievements while being locked to PvP worlds. And the person who manages to PK me will now receive the bounty of over 2.4 billion GP. In this episode, I'm gonna try to get to the end game as fast as possible while being hunted by some of the best hunters in the game. And as always, it gets crazy. Oh, a jet task. Okay, that's nice because we still got a lot of CAs to complete there. Okay, so I need to complete the fight caves with melee only, which I don't believe is too hard, but I guess we'll find out. So I'm using this method for killing the majors so I don't take any damage and still get the max DPS possible. And I gotta be honest, this is kind of satisfying. All right, it is time for jet, so let's finish it off. And there we go. That's another task completed. And let's see if there's peak ears. No, there's not. Okay, beautiful. Fire giants. Okay, that's that's nice. So I actually want to max out my melee stats now because I can already be attacked by really high level peak ears. So there's not really a reason for me to even want to stay a lower level. And task completed. And we get hellhounds. Okay, this always gets me excited because it's good for XP and also clue scrolls, which is exactly what I want. Um, that's Mr. C Engineer. And and he has a Void Waker, but he can't attack me, so I don't know what he's doing. Okay, I'm actually worried because he's trying to make me type and I know that he's always up to something. Um, I literally saw the peak here login and his name is C. Engineer. That's, that's actually funny. Okay, I guess we finish off this task another time, so let's get out. Okay, thank god I prayed melee. This was actually unexpected. So this was wiggled, which means he was also part of the plan. Man, these guys, they are good. That's a jet task again, so I guess we'll try to complete another CA. Okay, so in this run, I can't let the big meliors heal themselves or any other monsters a single time. Now, the plan is to save spot all of these, and as long as we don't make mistakes, we should get it. Alright, that is the last meliors down, so let's finish off Jet, and I think it should be completed. Okay, Jet is down, and that is indeed an Another task completed. Beautiful. Oh, gargoyles. Okay, I've actually been waiting to get this task. Now, last time we got these, we got a brittle key drop and I was told in the comments that this could be a really good escape method. So, let's see if it actually works. Alright, the roof is now unlocked. But the question is, can you also enter while in combat? Yes, you can. Okay, that's actually huge wait i'm lagging and i don't have an escape crystal please teleport okay thank god wait what is going on with this gargoyle i can't even click him <laughs> look at him he's so different and that's a clue scroll beautiful Okay, so this step is at the Rogue's Castle, and honestly, to do this on a hardcore, you have to be an idiot. Alright, here we are at the Rogue's Castle. <laughs> Let's hope there's no peak ears. And that's the casket. Let's get out. Okay, if we get Blasty Eye Chaps now, I'm gonna be so happy. No! That's blessed the height again, but I just wanted chaps. Please, Jagex. A clue scroll again. Casket. And we get nothing. Oh my god. That's wiggled and script, which is a scary duo. I'm not gonna lie. Now, honestly, this was a good attempt because that's an unexpected spot to go for a TB. 
And that's 85 defense and also combat level 110, which means level 125 can attack me now. And this is getting scary. All right, so it is time to finish off our task. And I'm actually going to go to the gargoyle bosses, obviously to complete combat achievements. But I also really want to use my blowpipe for the first time. So to do so, I need to make some darts. And that's about 2.5k adamant darts, which should be enough to finish off this task. Okay, we made it here without any peak ears, so let's not die to the bosses now because that's obviously also dangerous. No, I forgot my rock hammer. This means I'm gonna have to run back now and I know that there's people hunting right now. That's, that's annoying. Now, before I show you guys what's about to happen, I'm gonna pause the video because honestly, there is something that I need to tell you guys, which is that War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made and it's available on PC and consoles. And what's really cool is that all you need to drive a tank or fly a plane is just your mouse and keyboard or a controller. And this means you can easily switch from RuneScape to War Thunder without needing any additional equipment and when I play games I always love the competitive aspect so what I like to do is take my time customizing my vehicles and then going into combat risking it all but the main reason why I love recommending this game is because it's incredibly high quality but also completely free and if you are a new player or someone who hasn't played in six months you get a massive bonus pack including multiple premium vehicles and exclusive vehicles vehicle decorator, 100,000 silver lions and 7 days of premium account. So make sure to check out the link in the description or my pinned comment and thank you again to War Thunder for sponsoring the video. Uh, what? How did they just time it perfectly? Um so confused. Now I just watched it back and I still have no clue how they climbed the ladder the exact moment I ran past it. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. All right, it's a new day. We made it here safely. So let's actually get some kills now. Okay, this is the face I gotta be careful of because I've actually seen people die to this. This is the first kill and that's four tasks completed in a single kill. Not bad. 2kc and another task. Okay, this should be a perfect kill. Let's see. Yes, it is. Okay, that's a beautiful task. Oh my god. What am I doing? <laughs> it's not a chance, I think, but that's scary. I'm disconnecting again, but I do have an escape crystal, so it should save me. Okay, thank god. Oh. Oh my god, I was taking so much damage. That's a good teleport. And that is 25 KC, which is the first KC task. No, I, I just made the same mistake again. What am I doing? And this is the final kill because that is the task completed and this was an interesting experience. But now it is time we do some questing because I want to unlock the Arceus spellbook for some future PVMs so let's try to do this as fast as possible. And that is the first subquest for A Kingdom Divided completed. That's the Queen of Thieves, which is another subquest. And that is the final requirement for A Kingdom Divided, so it is time. And I'm hoping that the hunters don't expect me to do this quest, because otherwise I'm most likely gonna die. Now in this clip you can see me use a Xyrex Talisman teleport, and in the last second Pimpact teleports into Castle Wars and sees me use the teleport. Port, so let's see what happens next. Nah, they found me already. <laughs> I guess we're gonna do something else for a little bit. So I'm gonna do some more questing to possibly confuse the hunters, but also because I want to get some runecrafting levels, which is not easy on PvP worlds. That's Tears of Gothics completed. 
and 29 rune crafting and at some point i will have to get 55 rune crafting because then i can go for a needs not face guard which is most likely gonna be my best in slot that's temple of the eye and 35 rune crafting what lies below completed and 38 rune crafting already now i might be doing something silly now because i'm gonna try to do lunar diplomacy which is basically completely in multi so yeah we'll see how this goes okay if there's no peak ears waiting here we should be fine okay we're good let's finish off the quest and that is lunar diplomacy completed which means we can now use the lunar spell book and that's also 39 rune crafting but now it is time we try to complete a kingdom divided as well now nah, this quest is honestly horrible on pvp worlds because during all of these cutscenes i think my account is just standing there so there is nothing i can do no, I... I just panicked elite from another PvP hardcore. <laughs> Man, and this should be a kingdom divided completed. Yes, it is. And this means we now got access to all the spell books. So that is huge. And we also got two XP lamps. So you know what this means. That's 42 and 44 room crafting. Beautiful. Now I'm also going to be doing some achievement diaries and I'm not really going to show this unless something interesting happens but I am going to use all the XP lamps on runecrafting so you might see me get some levels here and there. That's 45 runecrafting but let's go do something else. Okay so I'm going to go back to Slayer now for a bit and you might be wondering why I'm doing my Anku task in the wilderness and honestly... I don't know, but there is something we have to talk about because you might have noticed that my private is turned on and I know that not everyone is a fan of this, but I do want to stress that no, I don't want to die. I absolutely love this account and long term private on is probably not going to be sustainable because I do really want to reach my goals, but for now I'm just going to test the waters and see what happens. That's the task completed, so let's get the hell out of the wilderness. So in last video, we got an arcane prayer scroll and also unlocked augury. And as I mentioned, I'm not gonna show raids clips unless something special happens. Oh my god. Oh my god. We just got a dex. I'm not gonna lie, this piece of paper is honestly huge. Learn rigor, absolutely. And look at this, that is a full prayer book. Man, this is gonna allow us to do so many things. I'm, I'm so excited. It is time for some Zolra now, because I wanna try these new prayers, and I also wanna collect as many Zolra skills as possible. Ooh, that's an elite clue scroll, which I'm actually gonna try to complete at some point. That's 60 Zolra KC. Um, why is this C Engineer his RSN? <laughs> nah, this hunter has found me three times in like 10 minutes. That is actually crazy. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, we teleported. <sighs> Man, that was a scary looking setup, so that's that's a good teleport. Now, if you enjoyed this content, it would be awesome if you subscribed. Thank you so much. And that's 75kc, which is another task completed. So we are now 40 points away from completing the heart tier, which is not bad, but let's go see which task we can get. Worms, I have actually never done this task, so... Let's go try it. Oh, we got a clue scroll. And that's the final worm. And I'm gonna be honest, this was not a fun task. But let's go complete this clue scroll. Man, I get so many wilderness steps. And honestly, I don't mind it. Because I feel safer in the wilderness than in the rest of the PvP worlds. Okay, I'm not even kidding. I was just AFK and I saw a scout in my house. So we have to go back and close the portal, obviously. But I gotta be honest, I'm kind of scared. Oh my god, he is here. Oh, 
Okay, we made it out. <laughs> Thank God. Man, these hunters have done some things that are unexpected, but a house invasion that is actually next level. But anyway, back to the clue scroll. Casket? Honestly, I got a good feeling about this one. Um, <laughs> never mind. That is some more XP lamps and 47 runecrafting. Oh, that's a nice task. Uh, yeah, this is most likely a scout. And that's a clue scroll. Um, what? How does he know I'm doing this? Okay, so he thinks I was doing a farm run and he's being extremely nice and letting me plant my tree. So I'm just gonna go along with it and do this clue step later on. All right, there we go. That's the step completed. And that's a casket. And we get absolutely nothing. Oh. Oh my god, he has harmonized. That is terrifying. Okay, get me out, please. Man, that is such a scary setup because he can easily hit my full HP. But anyway, I'm not gonna make the same mistake as last time, so let's just log out here. Alright, we made it out safely, so I guess we're going back to Slayer. Um, I think I might have been scouted. <laughs> and task completed. So I'm doing this quest for the RD Medium Diary. And if I get hit with this inventory, I might be in trouble. And that's Tower of Life completed. And the RD Medium Diary also completed. That's 48 and 49 runecrafting. Oh, Lizardman, I've been waiting to get these. So I want to go to the Shamans because I'm going to need a Dragon Warhammer. But to do so, I need full Shazian armor. And I'm also going to have to complete the current Heart Diary, which might be a bit scary. So yeah, we got some work to do. I've just been scouted in Shiloh Village, so I guess it's time to get started. And there we go, that is full tier 5 Shazian armor obtained. Alright, we're back on Lunar Isle, because to complete the current diary, I need to cast Monster Examine, which requires Dream Mentor, and I don't like this place at all. Alright, the bosses are down, and that is Dream Mentor completed. Thank God. That's a monster examine, which is a hard task, but first we actually have to finish off the medium diary. That's a winter tot completed with some help from my beautiful bald friend, and that's also the medium diary completed. And here we go, that is also the heart diary completed, beautiful. That is two more XP lamps and 51 and 52 runecrafting. Now the reason why I did all of this is so my Slayer Helm works as a Shazian Helm and that's obviously gonna be huge for my Shaman task. And here we go, it is now official, very nice. Now without saying too much, in next episode I'm gonna do some great crazy things so I'll see you soon and thank you again to War Thunder for sponsoring the video.